small behind females in this magazine. Why do editors put them in these magazine ads, commercials, and billboards? I mean, the average American woman weighs 145 pounds and is 5 foot 4. These models are 23% below the average American weight. Hmm. Why do the editors portray them as being the ideal American woman? <laughs> Ain't I a woman? So the truth. Hmm. Look at this video girl. She thinks she's so cute. Hmm. I really should say video ho. So, well, I'm not special because I'm not in a video. Hmm. Whatever. I know I'm special. I know I'm special. Even though I'm not your average girl in a video. India Ari. I mean, look at Oprah. She lost weight and still is 165 pounds. To me, she's a phenomenal woman, Maya Angelou. When I look in the mirror, the only one there is me. Every circle on my face is where it's supposed to be. And I know our creator didn't make no mistakes on me. Sometimes I shave my legs, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I comb my hair, sometimes I won't. Depends on which way the wind blows, I might even paint my toes. It really just depends what feels good in my soul. When you see me passing, it ought to make you feel proud. I say, it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need for my care, cause I am a woman. Phenomenally. I'm not your average girl from the video. Pretty women wonder where my secret lies. And I ain't built like a supermodel. Not cute or built to suit a model's fashion size. But I learned to love myself unconditionally. But when I try to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. Because I am a queen. It's in the stretch of my arms. I'm not your average girl from the video. The span of my hips. And my worth is not determined by the price of my clothes. The stride in my step. No matter what I'm wearing, I will always be me. The curl of my lips. My feet, my thighs, my lips, my eyes. I'm loving what I see. Then that man over there says, Women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and given the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helps me into carriages or lifts me over mud puddles or gives me any best place. And if ain't I a woman? Then that man there in black there says that women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. But I say, where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. And am I any less of a lady if I don't wear pantyhose? My mama said, a lady ain't what she wears, but what she knows. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. And when I try to show them, they still can't see. I say, it's in the arc of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breath. Don't need no silicone, I prefer my own. What God gave me is just fine. The grace of my style, cause I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. Ebony, Ivory, Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. Black and white, Michael Jackson. Baby got back. Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> Black tactic. Marlon A. You white. Anonymous. Jungle fever. A spike lead joint. He's got jungle fever. She's got jungle fever. They've got jungle fever. They're in love. She goes black boy crazy. He's gone white girl hazy. Ain't no finger baby. 
they're in love. <laughs> She's got jungle fever. I've got jungle fever. We've got jungle fever. <laughs> we're in love. <laughs> Everyone's created equal. To hell with all you ignorant people. Trying, Trying to stereotype us? You really ought to quit. Because you don't know Jack. You make, make us sick. sick. Get off my job. Stop trying to ride me. You'll only make yourself look stupid. I love you trying to diss. Cause we've got happiness. I, I bet you're pissed. Ebony and Ivory living together <laughs> in perfect harmony. <gasps> dating a white girl. I mean, I should be able to date whoever I want. It's fucking 2006. Is this ever gonna end? What is black? What, what is, is white? white? But as times change, so too do the options. Dating outside of one's race is no longer just a black or white issue. America is becoming a melting pot of diversity. Africans, Indians, and Asians have diversified the dating game. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. She looks like one of those rap guys' girlfriends. So what about my butt? Yeah, it's big and I do have big hips. Who cares? I don't have to look black just to be with a black man. Before, beauty was once judged by a community standard. But now, it's increasingly being seen through the eye of the beholder. I don't have to look black just to be with a black man. Black males are often pressured and blackmailed by black males to act black, to reenact a lack of intelligence and beauty. Shooting, killing, hustling. They all live in ghettos. They all live in bad neighborhoods. They all live in projects. They'll never be able to speak proper English. Slang is their disabled language. To act black is impossible. It doesn't require becoming ghetto. Imprisoned or violent. Crack addicted being. Those, Those are, are just the stereotypes. Separate but equal. Blacky. Buckwheat. Hick. Oil. Heritage, not hate. Darky. Honky. No colors allowed. Cracker. Coon. Redneck. Casper. Spook. Spade. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. You white. And when you're born, you're pink. When you grow up, you're white. When you go in the sun, you're red. When you're cold, you blue. And when you're scared, you're yellow. Well, when you're sick, you're green. When you bruise, you're purple. And when you die, you're gray. So, so who you calling color? Should it matter if I'm black? 
Should it matter if I'm white? Does it matter if I'm white? And does it matter if I'm black? Emancipation Proclamation, 1863. Brown versus the Board of Education, 1954. The Montgomery Bus Boycotts, 1955. Selma, Alabama, protest march, 1965. Emancipation, discrimination, assassination. Abraham Lincoln, 1865. John F. Kennedy, 1963. Malcolm X, 1965. Martin Luther King, 1968. Liberation, it shouldn't matter if I'm black or white. It doesn't matter if I'm black or white.